Hey, welcome to my channel. This is actually going to be my first game making tutorial. I've been wanting to do it for a while now and I'm just not getting around to it. I normally work with Unity, but today I'm working with RPG Maker. I downloaded it the other day, been playing with it for a couple of days, and I, I really like what I see. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make your character move around with WASD instead of, you know, the arrows. There are some plugins you can go and download. Um, I I'm not a plugin person. The plugins are a little overwhelming to me. So I went into the code and I dissected it and I'm going to show you how to change it. And it is really super simple. Don't let the code scare you. It, it, it honestly used to scare me. I'm coming out of that a little bit more. First thing you're going to want to do is in your new project, wherever you've got that stored, you're going to navigate to it. You're going to go to your JavaScript and you're going to click RPG Core. And I've already got it pulled up, but if you are using uh, Microsoft Visual Studio, that can take a little while to pull up. It's just how the program works. And if you type in Control F and you type in the number 38, it will take you here. Input.keymapper. This is where you want to be. This is where we're going to change the code and use WASD. And you can change all these other buttons too to do whatever you want to. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to a website, go to Google, Bing, whichever you use, and type in JavaScript character code key codes. This is a website here. I will link that down in the description for you. Basically, every key has a numeric value. And the way that RPG Maker is doing it, they are referencing these key values. And then I'm going to hop back over here to my code. And you see right here, 38 up is the up arrow. And then I can check over here. Hold on, I've got a lot of tabs. We find 38, that's the up arrow. But instead of using the up arrow, we want to use W. So right there's W. It is 87. Come back here. Where did I sit? There it is. Type in 87, and I'm going to just change that to W, just so I know. And then right, same thing. We're just going to go find right, which is in our case D. D is number 68. I'm going to go back over here, type in 68, change that to D, and we want to go down, and that's S, it's going to be 83, and let's not forget to do left, left is up here, I was expecting it to be down there, but it's up here, and we want that to be A, and that is 65. Now, I noticed that down here they had some of the buttons repeated. I I deleted those. I don't know if it's going to break your game or not. It hasn't broken the one that I've been making so far. I only did that because I don't want duplicates of that. I don't think it'll hurt it. I really don't, but I'm deleting it just to be sure. This is what mine looks like, the one that I'm making for my game. I, I changed some things, took some things out. Escape. I changed that to Q. And OK, I changed that to E. Change them up however you want to. Remember to control save that. Now let's hop on over here to RPG Maker and see how it's going to do. Woohoo! I'm using WASD to move around. It's that easy, guys. And if you're like me, the plugins are scary. They scare me. Hopefully today I was able to help you learn something new. Maybe I've got your character controller working a little bit smoother. Got you using some of your preferred buttons. I'm not a master programmer or coder in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I, I just guess and check stuff and see what works. And this worked. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.